What's going on everybody? Let me go ahead and introduce to you the ST1. What's going on guys? Welcome back, Leo Pazzo Productions. Thank you very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be having a closer look at this brand new product here made by SV Boney. This is a budget-friendly wireless HDMI transmission system which supports up to 4K, 30 frames per second. And guess what? As I said, budget friendly, priced at only $229, which is the regular price on Amazon, $229 USD. And at the time of making this video, it's actually on sale for $209, which is incredible. So guys, stick with me. Let's go ahead, jump right into it and see what actually comes included with this kit. All right, guys, let's go ahead and actually have a closer look to see what comes included with this kit. So starting over here into the middle onto the left hand side, we do have this transmitter. And I know this one is the transmitter because it is labeled TX over here onto the side. Over here, we do have the receiver. And again, this one is labeled as RX. So the transmitter is going to be the one that's going to get mounted onto your camera. And the receiver is going to be the one that's going to be connected to the monitor. Right over here at the top of the transmitter receiver, we do have the four antennas, which are labeled as 5.8G Pro Antenna, so that's going to definitely help with the distance range. Next over here, we do have two cables. This is a USB to USB-C cable, and it's going to allow us to actually plug them into these wall adapters over here, which are going to allow us to actually power the transmitter and receiver that way if we would like to. We do have included this little cold shoot, hot shoot mount adapter, so therefore we can go ahead and mount the transmitter onto our camera. Over here onto the right hand side, we do have a standard HDMI HDMI cable, HDMI to HDMI, and it does look like it's a nice thin cable, which is going to be helpful. We do also have two adapters over here. This one over here is a micro HDMI to standard HDMI, and this one is a mini HDMI to a standard HDMI. So that is everything that we have included in the kit besides this nice protective care in case, which is going to allow us to store everything in here and keep it protected when we are traveling and not using it, along with the user manual, which is nice and detailed, and it is in a bunch of different languages. So this is gonna definitely come in helpful when starting to use this product. All right, guys, let's go ahead and actually have a closer look at both the transmitter and the receiver so you guys can get a little bit more familiar with them. So starting off over here with the transmitter, again, marked as the TX onto the left-hand side. This is the one that's gonna be connected to your camera. So you'll notice, again, as we already talked about, the nice build quality, metal construction design. It does feel like it is super solid, built like a tank, and it is not that heavy. So starting off, you will notice that we do have this display screen, which measures approximately approximately one inch. We do also have these four buttons over here, which are gonna help us navigate throughout the menu, which we will have a closer look at shortly. You will notice that we do have this additional mounting option over here, which is a quarter 20 thread, which is going to allow us to mount this to our camera if we want to in the horizontal position. And we also have a quarter 20 mounting option over here at the bottom of the transmitter, which is going to allow us to mount it to our camera if we want to vertically. So we do have the two mounting options over here on the transmitter. If we go ahead and flip it over to the side, you will notice that we do have two connections. One of them is an HDMI input. So this one is going to be the HDMI coming from our camera. And we do also have an HDMI output, which we can send out to our camera's monitor if we would like to. So that is a nice feature, the fact that we have an HDMI output as well. So if we go ahead and flip this bad boy around, you will notice that this is the area where we're going to be able to connect our MPF batteries. We do have this little locking mechanism over here that's going to allow us to unlock the MPF batteries. Over here at the top of the transmitter, we do have the two little screws for the antenna, which is going to allow us to screw onto the antenna. 
If we flip the unit over here onto the side, you will notice that we do have a couple of connections starting off onto the one onto the left hand side. This is a DC input, which is labeled as nine to 16 volts DC. So that is one of the options that we have as far as powering this unit. Next over here, we do have a USB-C connection. Again, this is also another option that we can go ahead and power this unit via a USB-C connection. Just next to that, we do have the power on and off switch. And over here, we do have a small red LED light, which is telling us that it is powered on. Other than that, I think now you guys are a little bit more familiar with the transmitter. Let's go ahead and have a closer look at the receiver. So here we have the receiver, very similar features as the transmitter. We got the display screen, we have the four buttons here at the front, we have the mounting option here at the front as well, along with the mounting option over here at the bottom. If we go ahead and flip it around to the side, we do have two HDMI outputs, so HDMI output number one and HDMI output number two. So it's really nice to see that we have two HDMI outputs so we can display the wireless signal to two external monitors if we would like to. Similar here, at the top we have the screws for the antennas over here onto the side if we flip it around same idea we have the option to power via the dc input the usb-c input for powering option the on and off switch and along with the led light over here to let us know that it is powered on and if we flip around the receiver over here to the back same idea we have the slot for the mpf battery and the little unlocking mechanism as well so these antennas are adjustable so we can kind of just angle them to any position that we would like to but in in general in most cases I'm gonna just keep them straight as you see right here Alright guys, I just wanted to do a quick little test experiment over here. Basically, I have all of these devices right now powered off and what I want to actually test is basically once they are all turned on, how long does it take for the transmitter to send the signal wirelessly over here to the receiver? So again, just as you guys saw my previous setup, I have my camera and the transmitter mounted on top and I have the HDMI output from the camera going to the input. Here I have the receiver powered by an MPF battery as well and here is the HDMI output put from the receiver which is being sent over here to this external monitor so again for this test to be kind of fair I'm gonna go ahead and power on all the devices once they are powered on then I'm gonna start counting to see how long it takes for the transmitter to send the signal to the receiver wirelessly so let's start with the camera next the transmitter next the monitor here we have the receiver being powered on okay so Cameras on, transmitters booting up, monitors on. The receivers is the last thing to boot up. And here we go, it says no video signal. And boom, I see 1920 by 1080, 24p. And bang, there we go. So that probably took about maybe eight to 10 seconds or so, or even less. But as you saw, once everything was powered on and it was searching, it automatically connected really quick. So I'm really impressed with that. And here is a quick little example again of a quick little latency test. I do have the hard case over here that's included with the kit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move it around and you guys can see the delay comparison from the camera monitor to this external monitor. So guys, next I wanted to talk about the latency and I know many people are very curious about the latency of the wireless transmission system because it's either gonna make it usable or not usable. So again, we do have a latency of approximately 60 milliseconds. So do keep in mind that even more expensive uh, wireless transmission systems that are on the market, even from like 800 to $1,000, their latency is pretty much the same thing, 60 milliseconds. All right guys, so here is another quick little test that I wanna do. I wanna go ahead and change the channel from the current channel that we are currently on right now, which is channel three. I'm gonna go ahead and change it for an example to like channel six. And I wanna see if the transmitter and the receiver stop sending signal momentarily while it changes channels and how long does it take for it to pick back up again. So here we are channel three. I'm gonna go ahead and press this arrow button. Let's change it to channel six. So here we are channel six. The receiver is also reading channel six. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this hard case over here and see how long it takes for it to kick back in and bang, it's already back in action over there. As you saw, maybe that took about 
five, 10 seconds max. All right, guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys some additional features about this wireless transmission system. So let's start off with the maximum distance range. So how far can the transmitter and the receiver be away from each other? And we can go up to as far as 300 meters. Again, do keep in mind that is within line of sight. So you wanna be able to have the receiver and the transmitter line of sight with no obstructions. So moving on to the next feature, which I believe will actually be very beneficial to some people is the fact that we can actually connect up to four receivers to this one transmitter, which is fantastic. So if you're working with a crew or a director or your clients, whatever it is, now you can go ahead and wirelessly connect up to four different receivers, connect up to different monitors, and now everyone can kind of be involved and see what the camera operator is actually filming. But I will mention, do keep in mind, every receiver that you do connect to the transmitter, it's going to reduce the maximum distance range as we talked about earlier, 300 meters. So everyone that you do connect, it's going to reduce that distance range by approximately 50 meters. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a little bit more familiar with the display screens that we have over here, along with the buttons onto this transmitter and the receiver. So currently right now, the camera is connected to the transmitter and the transmitter is wirelessly sending the signal over here to the receiver and it's sending it over here HDMI to this monitor that I have into the background. But right now we're focused on the menu and information that we have over here and the buttons and controls. So the reason why I'm pointing that out that it is connected because this is what you want to see on the display screen when it is connected and sending a signal. So for an example, the unit over here onto my right hand side is the transmitter and it is receiving the signal from the camera at 1920 by 1080p at 24 frames per second. My camera is actually set to record in 4K quality, but I have the HDMI output settings on the camera set to 1080p, and that's exactly why it's sending a 1080p signal over here to this transmitter. As we look over here onto the receiver, this receiver is wirelessly receiving the signal from the transmitter because it's showing that it's receiving 1920 by 1080p at 24 frames per second. So starting off over here on the transmitter, let's see the information that we have here onto the top. So it's labeled as TX because it's telling us it's a TX, nice and easy to see. We have channel one, which they are both currently on channel one. We do have the Wi-Fi symbol icon over here, which is showing that it's nice, obviously strong signal because they're actually super close to each other. We do have a battery icon, which is pretty straightforward along with the voltage. And again, both of these transmitters and receivers are getting powered right now via MPF battery. So next, let's go ahead and have a closer look at these four buttons that we have here at the bottom of the display screen. So using the transmitter as an example, this first button here onto the left-hand side, which is the back return button. This is going to be used along with the one here on the receiver if there's ever a need for you to actually pair these two devices. I have not needed to use the pairing button over here because they have been paired right out of the box from factory. So next over here into the middle, we do have these two little arrow buttons so we can go ahead and press it to the left or press it to the right. And what that's doing is actually just changing between the different channels that are available. So we have from channel zero all the way up to channel eight. So in total, that is nine channels to pick from. So finally over here to the right hand side, we do have this last button, which is the okay button. It just basically has a rectangle below the button. And what this is going to do is just go and show you the device ID and the serial number. So that is all what that is used for. So there's not really much a menu when it comes to this device. So guys, as we talked about earlier, this ST1 kit does support up to 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p up to 60 frames per second. So guys, check this out. Another additional feature about this transmission system, they do have a free mobile phone app. You can just go ahead and download the QR code in the user manual. And therefore now you can download it on your iPhone, your tablet, your iPads, your Samsungs, your Android, whatever kind of phone or device you have, you're gonna be able to download that app and now wirelessly connect to the Wi-Fi from this transmission system. And therefore now have another monitor, another viewing device, which is fantastic. And the app does have quite a bit of features. So it does have some tools in the app as well, along with being able to take pictures in the app and video. So whatever you're filming, whatever you're monitoring wirelessly on your iPad, your, your iPhone, for an example, you can actually within the app record that and it'll save to your photo library, which is really nice. You can send them out. You can post them on social media. You can send them to the director, the client. All right, guys, check out this setup over here. Let me go ahead and break it down to you. So the camera that is filming this video right now, I actually have it connected to the transmitter, which is wirelessly sending it over here to 
this receiver. This receiver, don't forget, does have two HDMI outputs. So one of those outputs is going over here to this external camera monitor, and the other HDMI output from the receiver is being sent over here to this PC monitor. Fantastic, I'm not done there. What I went ahead and did is actually download the mobile phone app, and bang, now I'm connected wirelessly to this transmission system by just simply connecting to Wi-Fi and opening up the mobile phone app and connecting, and bang, I'm not done there. I went ahead and connected it to my iPad as well. So here I have four different monitors and it's really nice that the image quality looks nice along with the latency also feels pretty minimal. All right guys, it looks like we reached that time of the video to give you my overall thoughts and opinion. As we already talked about throughout the course of this video, all of these highlight features about this kit, 4K, 30 frames per second, the build quality, nice and solid metal, built like a tank. We have a bunch of different powering options. We have a few different uh, mounting options as well. The 5.8G, we got nine different channels, easy to use we can connect up to four different receivers overall i'm very impressed with it if you guys do have any questions or anything let me know down in the comment section down below hopefully you guys have learned something in this video and hopefully you guys obviously enjoyed this video you already know what to do like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one till next time peace